Hello everybody, Storm here. Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. In the last episode, we worked on getting the Arbalest here. Captured into Joule orbit and then transferred over to Laith orbit. I believe this is Laith. Yes, Laith. And so... We are now ready to begin an attempt to land on the planet. So that is what we're going to be doing today. It took a little bit of kind of uh, slingshot maneuvers and gravity assists to hopefully save some fuel, even though... A little bit lower on Delta V than I'd like to be at this point, but it should be plenty to get home. Should be plenty to get home. Especially if I do some more gravity assists back in the Kerbin system. Using the Moon or Minmus or something like that to try to bleed off some the momentum. But, you know, that's that's uh, for, for further down the line. For now, we need to get some Kerbals on the surface. So that is going to be the trick today. We're going to be using our Space Plane Lander and SSTO, which should hopefully work. And, uh, yeah, that should be interesting. All right, so I need, I think we already have a pilot on board, right? Yes, Dildon's on board the lander. And so I'm going to need a scientist who's going to be in the lab. We have to go ahead and temporarily, let's go ahead and transmit what science we have. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and transfer the crew out of here, over to there. And now we just need to wait until the appropriate point in the orbit. So here's kind of our primary, I guess, what passes for continents on this planet. Kind of an archipelago of very large islands. And I believe that that island would be our primary target, with I guess this one being a backup. There's also one here. So I think that right about right about now is probably where we want to actually start descending. So. Let's go ahead and undock. Give ourselves a little bit of a push here. All right, and we want to flip around retrograde. Close the uh, docking collar there. And I'm going to have to burn a little fuel to, uh, to get myself into a re-entry trajectory. That's okay. Turn the uh, RCS off. All right, well, I want to use the arrow spike. And... I'm 
I get the periaps is probably down to around 30 to 20,000 meters. Uh, that'll do. Alright, we barely touched our liquid fuel, so that's good. Oh, I did not transfer a lot of monopropellant. Forgot about transferring the monopropellant, but we should be alright. Should be alright. As long as I don't use any. But the reaction wheels we have on board should be plenty for this project. Uh, turn that engine off and what do we have here a crew report and an EVA report I don't think I actually need to do that we want to do that once we're in the atmosphere but uh, well not the EVA report but the crew report definitely oh, what, what am I doing the wrong buttons here okay so we now need Bring ourselves around here. Actually, it looks like that that island may be our target. A little miscalculated here a little bit. Oh, we want, we want to switch prograde. Here we go. All right, you want to switch over? My game pad for the analog controls. Nose up just a little bit. Actually, something got really hot there for a second. Uh oh. Oh, get whatever that is out of the airstream. There we go. I don't want to lose any sensors. That's the whole point of being here. So. Oh, 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 It does get a bit unstable as we transition through, through here, but that's all right. As long as we stabilize here a little bit. <laughs> all right. It should, it sh once we slow down enough, we, we should become aerodynamically stable. All right. Uh, okay. So we want to go ahead and just, just do stability assist. Okay, where is... Oh, we are way short. Oh, 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 I'm flipping around again. There... Well, wonder how far I'll be able to coast.
I don't think a water landing is impossible. I really don't want to kick the engines on if I can avoid it. All right, so I should have things I can do here. So, one thing, temperature scan. Yes, keep it. Mystery goo observation. Good, material study. Crew report. Atmospheric pressure scan. Atmosphere analysis. Good, keep all that. There is something over there. All right. Let me move in that direction and, uh, and let's see if we can make it. I have a lot of altitude to play with, so... Hopefully this thing has a... a good enough... glide characteristics that we can get there. I'm not so sure, though. How many of these do I actually have? Four of each. I only have two gravity detectors? Gravity scan can't be done right now. All right, well, we'll go ahead and take another temperature scan. Another mystery goo observation. Material study. Atmospheric pressure scan. Another atmospheric analysis. Might need to light the engines. All right, what do we do? Engines. What mode are we in? Air breathing, okay.
Hopefully we don't burn too much fuel here. I'll try and keep the throttle as low as I can. Just enough to give us some speed. Get to that island. Well, I think I can make a water landing work. I would rather not do it. Close enough? Am I close enough? Mm. I think I'm close enough. Kill the engines. We're going to glide in the rest of the way. Now I realize at this point that um, I didn't put any air brakes on this. That looks a little bumpier than I'd like. But, uh, all right, let's let's switch to altitude to ground. Too much, too much velocity. Too much velocity. All right, slow down, slow down, nice and steady. Oh, oh, there we go. Brakes. Whoa, brakes, 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 brakes. Oh. <sighs> All right, there we are. We're down. Now, where are we on the map? Okay, we are right there. Yep, I barely see it. The outline of that island there. That was fortunate that that was there. Okay, so, science. Chapter scan. Seismic scan. There we go. Mystery goo observation. Material study. I remember to put a ladder on this thing. I'm not so sure I did. Oh, gravity scan. Atmospheric pressure scan. EVA report. Well, take the surface sample and the EVA report. There we go. Reboard. Thing is, I'm not sure that the RCS pack is going to be enough to get back up there. And I forgot to put a ladder on. Well, that stinks. So I can't, I'm not going to be able to get down there and put a flag. Oh, well. Oh, well.
Okay, now comes part two of this. Which is getting back into space. And into orbit. Alright, so let's uh, disengage the throttle up. Actually, throttle up. Engage the brakes. the atmosphere. Stuff's getting hot. All right, throttle back up. Do apoapsis, I believe, above sixty. And if I can do that in air breathing mode, that would be great. All right, it's starting to starting to taper off. Sixty one. Let's try and stay in air breathing mode as long as I can. All right, let's kick it over to close cycle. Just a sec. Kill the rapiers, engage the arrow spike, and we're a little off kilter here, but that should be fine. Maneuver into orbit. Five hundred meters per second. We have twelve hundred available. Angle for the maneuver node. It's gonna be let's say sixteen seconds. I think that says sixteen seconds. Ooh. Gravity scan, I'll take it. So we need no uh, T minus eight seconds for the node, and then we'll do our orbital insertion burn.
T minus 30 seconds. And go. I don't think that that burn time is correct. We should be in orbit now. 70, 80. Yep, there we go. Okay. So. I don't need to rendezvous. That is target. And we'll use the autopilot. The burn times are wrong. Uh, let's see. There we go. That makes more sense. Twenty-seven point nine meters per second for the intercept. Okay, yeah, we'll have plenty of fuel. Plenty of fuel for this. All right, this is going to take a little bit. I'll be back once we're rendezvoused. All right, we're coming into dock. There we are. Docked. And those guys are getting a little blinky. All right. Somebody else is getting a little hot over here. I guess this thing has some built-in radiators. Maybe. I went ahead and retracted the uh, the solar panels because they're really not doing any good out here. So I just got them out of the way just so that. It didn't cause a problem during docking. Okay, so... What I now need to do... Is get in there and get all the data off of this thing. Alright, so Dildon... You can head back to the main habitation ring there. Or, well, it's not really a ring. 
And then... Who is it? It is Dealey here. Who will do the EVA. Alright, can you reach over there to grab the data? No. Okay. Alright, so this is going to be interesting. Low and steady. Or not, okay. data. Oh, there we go. Ooh, ooh. Collect data. Collect data. Yep, there we go. Which one of these guys had the seismic data? Take data. There we go. Take data. Only three of those got used. Not close enough over there. Ooh. I'm not worrying about uh, cleaning the parts. Can't seem to steady here. Okay, now there are two more. There are two more sensors that uh, I need to pull data from under the wings. There's one. There's two, and that should be everything. Except for probably the, the crew reports and everything. Take the data. There we go. Thank you. 
We just need to get back on board. Okay, there we are. Go ahead and re-extend the uh, solar panels because we might as well. to have sunrise. Energy flow. Now, I don't think I need to bring the lander home. Is that a big old shadow? I think it's a shadow. So yeah, we'll go ahead and undock that. Served its purpose and performed admirably. We're gonna go ahead and leave it in orbit over here. Because it's a just a mass I don't need to bring with. And that gets me a few hundred more meters per second of delta V. Our start the research again, and let's actually review the data. We want to go ahead and get this stuff processed. Uh, EVA report. I could transmit process in the lab. 112 science, or I can get 700 science. 700 science. Nine fifty three data, thirteen ninety one data. Oop, that's going to go over too much. Just seeing if any of these keep it below fifteen hundred data in the lab. Oop, not, there we go. Temperature scan, that can get processed. And probably we're, we're done there. All right, good. I'll let the, uh, let Dealey work on chewing through all that data. I'm getting it all processed. And ready for transmission home. All right, so I need to start figuring out how we actually start getting home. What I'd like to do is at least, let's see, we're this way. So it might be best to, actually first off, let's go ahead and orient prograde because I think that we're gonna do a prograde burn. Um. 
we are controlling from the right spot, right? Control from here. Figured that that gotten changed. Alright, so if I started to burn, like, right now, in a minute, You weren't. How is that orbit oriented as far as its position relative to Jules' orbit? The Jules is orbiting in this direction, I believe. So what I would really like is for that to go that way. So I would probably want to wait until Lath was over here. Yes, there, thereabouts. And then do burn. So best way to do that, I think, is going to be to go back to the Space Center, actually. Let me go to the tracking station. Now we want to switch our focus over to Jewel. There we are. All right, so we want to wait until Laith is around here-ish. Right about there, okay. So now we'll go ahead and switch back over to the, um... Now is this the main one? Or the lander?
That's the lander. So let me actually rename this thing. The lathe lander. Alright, accept. Then we'll go ahead and switch to this one. All right, go ahead and orient the prograde. And actually, I think we are just about oriented where I'd want to be. Reactors are on. Just get a little bit further along on the orbit. Right about there should be fine. Oh, now I gotta reorient again. That transfer into a running converter. Okay, so I actually have to shut it down and then transfer the fuel if I had to. Okay. Waiting for this thing to orient. All right, good enough. I'm not gonna bother with a maneuver node. We're just gonna go ahead and fire those engines. Until we get to an escape trajectory.
just make sure that this guy's gonna be stable during thrust with this big offset weight here. Mass is probably the better term to use. So it's gonna draw the center of mass a little bit off center, but I'm gonna make sure that the reaction wheels and the gimbling on the engines can compensate. It looks like it does. Should hopefully not take too long. Yeah, probably should have started that a little bit further back, but it's okay. Well, maybe I'll just uh, be back once we've gotten to escape. Okay, there we are. We now have escape trajectory. We have our orbit here. That should be oriented in roughly the right direction. That's fine. So let's go ahead and uh, warp out here. And there we are. Now we're crossing a couple of orbits, but it doesn't look like we're going to interact. Anytime soon. It'd be nice to get a little bit of a gravity kick off one of these other moons. Let's just see. Actually, let me do a plot here. Going from Joule to Kerbin. Wow. But there are actually some decent transfer opportunities. Ooh, but that is that is pushing it. Fifty two. That is definitely pushing it. All right, well, let's just see. Where is that? Uh, there we are. Okay, so if we swung around here and I try to add a maneuver about there. So 
644 meters per second. No, I wouldn't happen to get... any interactions with any of these moons, right? No. Let me just check something here. So, Val. Let's see, do I have a node that would allow me to do see, that would try and slow me down. That's not necessarily what I want to do. That's where it's going to be in an orbit. We're fairly close right now. So what if I, for example, added a maneuver Oh no, see that's where it's going to be. That's where we're going to be when we get there. That's where it currently is. Hmm. Tylo. Kind of out there. Pole. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to get a good line uh, alignment here. That's all right. Well, probably we'll go ahead and do is just end the episode here, and then when I come back next time, uh, we will start start heading back towards towards Kerbin here, and then we'll see what else we can get up to. All right, but we'll stop here for today. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.